Alright, hello everybody and welcome to another elevator part video. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to wire this ThyssenKrupp elevator button. So this here is a pretty interesting button. You can see here we have two buttons, one for up, one for down, and we've got this very interesting inconspicuous riser key switch. I don't think I've ever seen that before. So taking a look at just the front, we've got this kind of plastic border all the way around the button. We've got the little metal kind of panel part here. We've got the spot for the screws right here. Obviously we've got the buttons and the key switch right here. Turning the button over, we can see the back on how it works. So as for the guts, we have some DMG bases. Pretty simple, pretty self-explanatory, and pretty easy to work with. Up here for the key switch, we've got just a simple key switch, just seen in more modern elevators. And we've got some of the connectors right here. Here's a little sticker. So let's go ahead and take this button apart and see how it works and see all the parts that make it up. So DMG bases are held on pretty simply and they can be taken off very easily as well. So what you'll do is you'll press really hard this way and then use your thumb to lift up and then the base will come right off. And now we're left with these two little red rings for the actual buttons. So what we have to do is loosen these up and the little ring comes off. Then the button comes right out of the panel. On this particular button there's this little plastic ring and then we can see the actual button part itself. So to take the button out, there are four little black pins on the outside of the button. And then the button will pull apart. Here's the little base right here. And then right here we've got the little spring, which kind of gives the button the springiness. And then this little piece comes out here. This is kind of what lights up. This is, this is where the light goes into. And then we've got this little black piece right here, which you can see turns very little bit and this is why these buttons turn like this. So that's the button. Now let's take a look at the base. So here we have the base the little contact of the button. So on the back here you can see it says DMG that's the type of base we have. This one is a 24 volt blue base. Now we can actually run this off 9 volts which is what we will be doing. Now as for the front over here we have the little connector right here. We've got a little few little components right there. But then we also have the actual switch. So what's kind of interesting about this base, unlike some of the other DMG bases, is there's only one tiny little switch right there. Which is why when you press the button from one side, it doesn't really work so well, but when you press it from the other side, it presses very nicely. Now these, these can be opened up, and you use this little plastic pin, you push this in and lift. So there's the back taken off. And then we can pull out the little circuit board. And this is all there is to it. There's the little button right there. It's got our little LED in the middle, and then a few components that are on here. All right, so let's put these back on the panel, and we'll take a look at how to wire it. We have this pin right here, this little four pin connector. And what you wanna do is connect the positive to the right side, and the negative to the left side. And to do this, I've got a couple of these connectors, and we're just going to pop these in here. And then I'm just going to connect all of these together with a wire nut and attach my 9-volt battery. Okay, so the wiring's complete, and you can see they light up blue when I press it, and it's a very simple circuit. All we have to do now is just clip it onto our base. When you press the button, you can see the little blue light turns on. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and we'll see you guys in the next one.